it was interesting for me because I had like it was my first time in Cambodia, so I didn't know Cambodian, I didn't know Vietnamese, I didn't know Cambodian culture or Vietnamese culture. Because when I got there, the first week I was living with three Vietnamese guys, you know. So I was living in a Viet Vietnamese like home, pretty much three guys from Vietnam, and then, but in but the minute I step outside, I'm in Cambodia. So I was called to serve the Vietnamese people in Cambodia. So I'd wake up at 5.30, exercise, study. We'd study Vietnamese for an hour. And then we'd go out and we'd be, all the signs would be in Cam Cambodian. And all the people would be speaking Cambodian. So it was crazy. Um, but the languages are really interesting. Um, Cambodian, you know, they have script as their writing style. So it's like a bunch of swirls and swiggles, which is really hard to learn for those guys. But... Um, Vietnamese and so Cambodian is a lot like Thai. They have the script and it sounds more like Thai, but Thai has tones. And then Vietnamese sounds more like Chinese because it came out of Chinese, but because the French occupied um, Vietnam for like 90 plus years, um, the French Romanized the Vietnamese language. So they took the characters that Vietnamese used to have and they Romanized it just like our writing system. So like I could teach you how to read Vietnamese, all the little rules and stuff in probably like an hour or two. And you could roughly read it, you know, and then you just have to work on your accent. So it's kind of cool. Whereas characters can take like a lifetime. <laughs> characters are so hard, you know. So that was one interesting thing. But yeah, other than that, very different languages. Similar grammar. But yeah, that was one of the hardest challenges was trying to learn Vietnamese in Cambodia. Because they actually speak, speak a different, you know, they'll change some of the things from Vietnamese in Vietnam. So that was a huge challenge. <laughs>